This is a message to the booting companies that they've got to clean their act up and they got to clean it up fast. Attorney Matt Weatherington is getting the wheels turning when it comes to how Georgia drivers can park. Not only is my truck being detained, but I'm detained. James Thompson says his truck was unfairly booted into Cab County in 2018. While he was paying for his spot, a company claimed he wasn't paying fast enough. Thompson showed receipts, but still got the boot. It cost him 650 bucks plus an estimated $1,500 in business that day. I didn't need that boot on my truck and I didn't want to give up my $650 that, you know, it's very hard to earn in these days. It's literal piracy. You're seizing control of someone's property and saying, you can't have it back until you give me money and call the police if you want to, but they're not going to help you. Well, that just changed. A new ruling from the Georgia Supreme Court Tuesday determined property owners and companies have no legal authority to immobilize unauthorized vehicles on private property. Now, had that happened today, he could call the police and the police would say, I can help you. You don't have to give this company hundreds of dollars. A relief for many drivers. I really think it's kind of fortunate that something like that would happen, but you know, I hope that they actually get their money back. And it's expensive to get a boot off your car or if you get towed. It's hard times these days and people have to give out their money because of a parking spot, you know, they should get that back. A small handful of Georgia cities are allowed to enforce a booting ordinance. Atlanta, Decatur, Smyrna, Sandy Springs, Doraville, Union City, Haightville, and Morrow. Reporting from DeKalb County, Savannah Louis, CBS 46 News.